The Natural History Museum has unveiled its new £78 million facility for education, research and the storage of millions of insect specimens. The Darwin Centre brings together the museum's laboratories and public collections. Pupils can marvel at everything from huge tarantulas to the DNA lab, while also getting to chat to scientists about their work. Pupils can actually see the range of jobs that scientists can do. They can see scientists going out on field work, they can see scientists in the DNA laboratories, they can see the relevance of their work, for instance, examining mosquitoes to find out ways to um, curb malaria in Africa. All kinds of different roles, which I think is really inspiring. School groups can visit the cocoon and take part in interactive displays, handle the exhibits and talk to staff about their work. So Gavin, just explain to me what you're doing. Right, uh, today I'm labelling some wasps that we collect in South America and try to uh, identify them so that we can put them in the collection. Teachers and children have played a key role in the development of the centre, which is largely aimed at secondary pupils. The visit really starts in the classroom where students can access online resources to help them to prepare for what they're going to find here and then when they're here, the areas that interest them, they can use this and barcode, um, scan this card to be able to take back um, areas that interest them for further discussion and analysis in the classroom. The Darwin Centre opens to the public in mid-September and hopes to attract school groups from up and down the country.